Yo, what up everyone, it's Joel here. Today I'm bringing you another review, but this time it's something different. It's the Heavyweight Champion Edition, Mike Tyson, one six scale collectible figure limited only to 300 pieces made by Storm Collectibles. There's something that I want to share with you guys before we get started. When I was up at Storm Collectibles picking up this figure, the staffs are awesome. They actually gave me a demonstration of the figure and pointed out the huge facts on how to take care of the figure and stuff which I will mention later on in the video. I also had a few talks with the president there how he and his team used a lot of effort bringing this awesome piece to the public. I gotta say he's a top notch guy and I had a great experience up there. Cheers for that bud. Feel free to check them out, I'll leave you guys the info in the description below. Anyway, let's crack on to the packaging. From the front of the packaging, you can see a beautiful piece of artwork showing Mike Tyson raising both arms for victory. On the top corner right there, you can see Storm Collectibles imprinted in gold. And also down below, Mike Tyson the youngest heavyweight champion one six collectible figure okay on the side what you can see here is there's a brush a finished artwork from the top moving all the way down and there's also called Ryan imprinted saying Mike Tyson the youngest heavyweight champion one six collectible figure and moving on to the back of the packaging. On the corner of the packaging, you can see Mike Tyson's signature. Saying Mike Tyson name, the details of the store of Storm Collectibles, and it's a licensed product by Mike Tyson and Everlast. The package artwork is done by Hive. As you can see, the bottom corner there, and there's warning labels. This is not a toy under 15 years old. Okay. You also get a slip cover inside the packaging, which looks identical to the box art, which still looks really nice but the writing's in red this time okay and I can tell you guys this box is rock solid it is proper quality card you can hear it by sound I'm gonna knock on it and you can hear it it's a very very sturdy card box so, I really like what they did with that. Okay. Alright, let's move down to accessories. You guys are going to be amazed on how much accessories you get with this figure. Because I am proper, proper chuffed. Because I'm a guy that loves tons and tons of accessories. So first, you get a pair of fisty hand that's been painted on okay you get a pair of molded gloves and they're actually hard plastic all in one piece and it says Everlast there. Okay, you get a pair of those. Okay. And then you get a pair of open hand, which is also painted on and really well done there. Okay, 
you get a pair of molded boots and they're actually trainers these look lovely as well you get a pair of these okay you get a pair of boxing shorts and the stitching on this is crazy is this Everlast there made in USA okay you can see there's a little patch there saying I think it's Go America and the material on these shorts they feel like real leather short, real shorts I mean okay you can see there there's also a, a little logo there emblem okay and these are actually elastic you can stretch them out okay you get a pair of feet which looks nice as well okay you get a speed ball which is on the hinge there which can move around and this is actually feels like leather which also imprinted Everlast there which this looks amazing you can go all types of directions and this the base here is actually proper wood you can actually feel it and you can hear it by knocking on it okay it's like solid wood it's not hollow it's nothing I don't think okay you get a stand seeing Mike Tyson there the youngest heavyweight and is actually a a grindstein stand. Okay, you get a tracksuit and it has working zippers and the stitch on on it looks perfect. Really nicely done. Okay. You get some tracky bottoms. And these are actually workable, so you can actually pull them. Like that. Okay. And if you actually pre ordered this, the normal edition or the special edition, it comes with a belt. And the buckle on here and this bit here where it says HWC and I can see heavyweight champion there. This is actually die cast. These are die cast as well. And the strap here, it feels like it's leather, it's not plastic, leather like material which is awesome okay and if you get the special edi uh, special edition limited of 300 pieces these are the parts that you comes with this is this groin protector and this is everlast there and it's actually leather very neat and the stitching is really well done as well okay you get a head guard it's also leather as well okay you get a pair of boot I mean uh, a pair of boots here these actually 
real like leather like and you have real laces as well I mean the stitching on these boots is insane really nice and this you get is actually real leather as well the boxing glove and it has a little wiring inside that you can repose it into different positions these are spectacular very nicely stitched and you can see the laces in there as well real laces it's not molding nothing okay. so you get a pair of these in a special edition I love these alright you get a metal rod I think it's die cast it's not plastic and you get a wooden board and it is actual wood you can feel the weight to it and you can hear the sound very nicely sculpted there on top and cut it out great man. I love it the intentions, you know, like all the effort that put, they put into the accessories, it's just crazy. It just blows me away right now. Alright, I'm gonna post up the figure and then I'm gonna show you the figure itself. Be right back. Here's the figure itself of Mike Tyson, and when I saw the head sculpt, it just blew me away completely. I mean, Look at that head sculpt, and you guys tell me what you actually think of Tyson when he was young. Is this him? I'll give you a 360 spin of his head. And let's move down to the body. The whole body is made out of rubber. From the body to the arms and the legs, they're all rubber. And the scoping of the body is beautiful. I mean, look at his abs, look at his chest, everything, his traps. It's really, really well done. All right, so I'm gonna move around to the side, and on the side, right there, you can see a little tattoo saying Mike there. And if you go lower down on his arm, you can actually see another tattoo. I'll try and zoom in and capture it if you guys can. Okay. Right, moving up. That's a very nice touch what they did there. Okay, let's take a look at his back. Okay. 
his other side. I'm gonna stop the video right now. I'm gonna put on this overhead and I'll show you guys. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, this is the second head scope that comes with the figure. And this expression that he's actually giving off, he's looking off to one side, he looks pissed, he looks menacing, and he's ready to beat down his opponent. And if you look closely, you can actually see he's wearing his gun guard. Let me try and zoom in to capture that look. Okay. Let me show you the side of his face. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys the articulation. His head can rotate 360. Okay. His arms can go to the side. It can go forward and you can actually rotate his arm 360 because there's a ball joint in there. Okay, you can bend at his elbow. Okay. He has a little ab crunch, just a little tiny bit. Okay. You can move his torso from left to right. Okay. His leg can go up. This far. Okay. His knees can bend up to this position. Okay. He has little toe articulation up and down. You can rotate his toe 360 degrees. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys a neat little feature that they added in. So, what they added in is is something different to other companies' bodies. You can actually remove their arms and the leg as well. Okay, so to remove the arms, you lift it up like this type of position so you don't break it. That's how I would do it anyway. And then just pull from the side Oops, okay, and it just comes off, and it's on a ball and joint now, which is really nice.
and basically it's really really easy to clip back on as well basically just push it in and that's it okay you can actually do the same on the leg and I can't do it right now because he's he's wearing these shorts so to remove his leg hold his thigh section here when pointing just grab it and then just pull straight down hold his thigh tight and just pull straight down and his leg should come off straight off so that's a very very neat feature that they did for this figure all right guys i'm thinking right now whether i should display tyson like this or should i put on his tracksuit training on his speedball i might just actually put on his tracksuit and show you guys how he looks and then you know we'll go from there another thing that i want to point out is if you guys plan to grab this figure there's a few things that i want to mention to you guys or watch out first of all don't display your figure when you get it in direct sunlight or the rubber body will crack over time don't bend the arms and the knees in a permanent position or it will definitely leave a cr crease in the rubber body okay do not rub the body and do not use sharp objects or like if you have long nails try and avoid it put some gloves on okay if you do plan to get the special edition for the leather gloves and the leather boots I would recommend you guys using a pair of tweezers to pull if not I don't want you guys to use force with your hands you might break the laces so and then you know there's no way you can replace that I don't think all right so I'll be right back and then I'll show you a little bit of pose all right fellas so I've got him posed up training on his speedball and this pose looks pretty damn awesome as well I like both poses this one and the previous one but I can't decide you know which one to use so if you had to choose which one would you guys use let me know well anyway I'll give you guys my final thoughts one thing for sure this figure is definitely worth buying it's worth every penny from the amount of accessories that's included the head scope is superb the tailoring is great and most of all is the paint that actually matches from the head to the rubber body that is really really important to me if I'm paying a lot of money for one of these high-end collectibles so job well done to storm collectibles and this my friends brings us to the end of the video if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and I would greatly appreciate the support be sure to subscribe for more future reviews comments down below and give me your thoughts on this figure and most of all thank you for watching peace out till next time peace